Yeah, I was like, nah, just kidding. I don't want to be mayor, actually. To make it funnier. Absolutely. absolutely, I do. Go, my noble steed! <laughs> <laughs> The ship doesn't swerve when it sees how big the iceberg is. I like big plants, I cannot lie. I think I need to go back to... <laughs> Wait! Wait, what? Are you ready for some top secret horse-based intel? There's a food that horses just love. It's... I think you were supposed to do that! Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? Bum ba, bum ba, bum bum, bum bum. Hi everyone. I hope you're ready. I'm scared, but I've been practicing, so let's do this. Pins. <clears throat> At least until people make their way in. I know it's an early stream compared to when I normally go live. And it's a Saturday, so like some people don't feel like being up yet. I can I can understand that. I could appreciate that. Uh let me know how the audio level is. Trombone champ can be loud, so I've got it knocked back a little bit.
my valve one. Welcome in. We are going to be invisible. And we are going to... Actually, let's warm up with this because it's very funny. It's going to set the vibe for the whole stream, whole game. surprised your first is because um fudge everyone says has the land vantage so he stopped claiming first look at that starting off with a perfect score and i think valvelin just doesn't uh have much of a strong feeling about first but you know what it's okay you still get your name up there Pinky, Pinky. What are you yelling about? I swear, if you have your worm, you have your worm, don't you? He has his worm. Inky! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, King. Okay, one second, guys. Inky! Inky! What? Bring your worm. Hi. I bones were happening. Good issue with you get this to He's being a big baby. Alright, so here's what's happening. We're playing through the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. OST in Trombone Champ. If anyone redeems like Drawy or um, asks for a uh, custom early bloomer spin or anything, we'll stop and do art. We're gonna try 0.95. Some of these I'm not gonna do good at. I just won't. Real trombone playing. Air horns and everything.
Inky, why are you yelling outside? Oh my gosh. Next song. How's everyone doing? It is the holiday weekend. He's yelling because he carried the worm up the stairs. I mean, the trombone and the pickle are, they're basically interchangeable, right? Ah, yeah. so close to that S rank. Oh well. I absolutely cannot be bothered to try to S rank every single song. We will be here for at least 24 hours. Inky just wants to be a part of the concert. I think that's what's happening. He's outside my door serenading his worm, which I promise is not inappropriate. I promise. Cows love the sound of a trombone. They are smart. Trippy.
Do you feel welcome to into the world of Pokemon yet? I'm ready. Have any of you guys played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon before? My bubbles! How's your Saturday going, King? And what on earth are you playing an IRL trombone for? Alphwin says, I'm not even sure what it is. So Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was one of their Pokemon spin-off titles where, um, you play as a Pokemon, and you run around in procedurally generated dungeons, fighting Pokemon, kind of like turn-based, um, rescuing Pokemon, escort missions, and then there's just this, like, absolutely buck-wild plot that happens in the background. So the funny thing is, is that you're gonna see a lot of the game just through Trombone Champ today. And I make no promises that I will not be crying later. It is a very sad game. I don't know, I think I played that perfectly. I think I played that perfectly. Thank you for watering your plants. I hope you're ready for just way too much trombone chip. Guys, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. Now, I have not played all of these songs. I know some of them have scores already, because I was practicing. Ha <laughs> ha 
Lost it at the end. We still got an S rank, baby. New high score. You get to meet Guildmaster Wigglytuff. There he is. The thing that's the hardest about playing this game is that your mouse starts to travel as you're playing it. And then like when it gets too far like back away from you, it gets really, really hard to readjust and be like, nope, 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 I need this. There are more trombones on Earth than there are humans. Don't challenge that. <laughs> I think I got a perfect score. Yeah! Uh, so it gives you a perfect score if you have no okays. Everything is either perfecto or nice. And you're perfect. Technically perfect. Somehow I got a better high score last time. I must have had less nices. So Static Raichu is actually on a lot of the leaderboards for this, and they are the one who modded this. Ha <laughs> ha 
Like the longest combo we had was there at the end. Painfully close. So I have a hole in my chin. So does anyone have any uh, fun holiday plans? Travel plans? I get to do a good amount of baking after we're done bonering. My mouse just keeps wanting to walk away from me. It's so hard to pull it back when you're like in the middle of trying to play. 23 nasties, oh no. Oh, this one's rough. We're, we're pulling it back a little. Also, I could go um, wireless. little piccolo trill on the trombone. What can I say? <laughs> Still a new high score, so we'll take it. These are tough. join the concert? 
You want to join the concert? Is that what you want? You want to play the trombone too? I can let you play the trombone too. Okay. Okay, you want to play along? My boy wants to play along. Growing anxiety. Here, Inky. This is the song you will play. It'll be great. Incredible. Inky, that was incredible. How did you do that? Yeah. Chat, give it up for Inky. Who is such a good tromboner. Sorry, you can't see him. Oh, no! Oh, this one's gonna be awful. This one's gonna be awful! I did the best I could. The name of the song is Oh No. And that was pretty much my mood the whole time I was playing it. Hi, Mom. Let me get you your early bloomer. Inky played a song for us. It was very good. On Christmas morning, we are going to be doing um, cinnamon buns with the Fandria.
baby. Good luck. So this is a channel point challenge that we did. And we're also kind of just celebrating the community and the Cool Gamer Retirement Home as a whole. Because why wouldn't you? Here the holidays just felt like a good time to celebrate. This combo is nine. I did my best, all right? <laughs> I don't think we've gotten under a B. We're doing pretty darn good. Oh, good. my mouth. Right, we are switching to wireless mouse mode because I cannot deal with this. I cannot deal with the cord fighting me every step of the way. We still got an A. That was definitely like, I felt like my worst one yet. And as you can see, you can adjust how quickly you play these and it will kind of adjust your score. That was not necessary.
We will unleash the power of the Duke. Let's do it. Oh, that one hurts. It was so close to the S rank. Okay. But yeah, the Cool Gamer Retirement Home has kind of become like a haven for small content creators, people who dislike, you know, the drudges of working 9 to 5 every single day, and we just kind of are able to come together and share this community with each other. I really appreciate that. We're gonna be doing one more of our Discord draw-alongs before we kind of change the way the craft night has been looking. Uh, and that's mostly because my work schedule is changing. And doing art stuff on uh, in the mornings during weekdays doesn't really match up with everyone. So we're just going to put a pause on them after, I think, January 20th is the last one we're doing. It's just nice to have so many friends who... We can do stuff together with. Yeah, like a lot of the charity stuff, the charity work that we do, a lot of the community movie nights, etc. They really would not be the same, you know, without you guys, without the people here. No oh, goody. This one's just gonna be bad. Just gonna be bad. I'm even slowing it down and it's still gonna be bad. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, you're funny. You're a funny static, right? <laughs> you're funny. Oh, that was good. That was good for a laugh. Take it. This one says it's easy. because it's so short. I can dig it. It certainly was not as easy as they made it out to be. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was a game I played entirely too much of.
one. Now this one is a favorite of mine. So Team Skull is the bully team. Uh, they actually try to extort their rescue um, victims, for lack of a better word. These people put out, like, rescue requests saying, like, help, my, my sister, she got stuck in this dungeon, won't you go save her? And then they would, like, try to extort more money out of people. Or if you were going after, like, a treasure, they would pretty much... Follow the path that you cleared and then beat you up and steal the treasure. It works.
feel like they always tried to add those like little tricky bits in near the very end. But we still S ranked it, so I don't care. A lot of this game's music are like the different um, mystery dungeons that you'll be wandering around in. And it can be pretty catchy, which is good because these dungeons are like sometimes between 10 and 30 floors of procedurally generated. <laughs> Tough one. Oh, we got a wild Goomba. Yeah. I'm making sure I give my wrist enough chance to to um, stretch and relax before we keep going at it.
almost broke out. It's a good one. The only I had trouble with like the drum section in the middle. Right, the ending was easier than the beginning. I won't argue with you there. We still S-ranked it! Like, I, I don't know. I feel like the scoring system is very balanced, but there's still tracks I go through and I'm like, oh, I'm doing horrendous, this is so bad. And then it's like, oh, no, it's fine, really. So we said we were skipping the duplicates. So like, Upper Steam Cave is basically just a remix of Steam Cave. Because it is literally six hours of music. I got a, uh, a streak of seven. We'll take it. We'll take it. It was short. I could do better. But again, we're not min we're we're not min maxing this. This one is gonna be bad. This is how to get immediate anxiety. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So yeah, once you get a certain point in the game, like you're far enough along, they added monster houses. So like you will enter a room and suddenly the entire room fills up with enemy Pokemon that will chase you out of the floor. Uh, and usually it's not just like the low level ones, it's the high level ones. Many a mystery dungeon run have ended to monster houses. Many. shorty so your character is a human that woke up one day as a Pokemon in this game and you start to have uh Premonitions, visions of the future that are um, triggered by touching something. Hi, Tendo. The mouse keeps walking. We'll take it. Good morning, Tendo. We are celebrating the Super Redria 64 
community and the Cool Gamer Retirement Home, which is the Discord that I co-run. It's a little, um, it's kind of like multiple streamers sharing a Discord just because, you know, every streamer has their own Discord. So we're a little stream team of a lot of like-minded anti-work individuals who kind of just prefer focusing on art and on hobbies and the things that we enjoy. Nintendo says, I was curious about this game when I saw the trailer. How are you liking it so far? I have probably too many hours in Trombone Champ. I will say, I think the only way it is worth its money is buying it on Steam so that you can mod it and add custom songs. Right now, we are playing through the entire Pokemon Mystery Dungeon soundtrack in Trombone Champ because somebody else modded it in. Uh, this was a community point challenge that we did. Uh, so, these songs are not in the game by default. I had to mod them in. The modding community is very active. There's a lot of people making custom tracks in the Trombone Champ Discord. Uh, I'm not gonna say that the, like, bass tracks are bad, and I'll play through some of them in a little bit, but yeah, we are, we're making our way through. Hello, Grist Collector. That's a Homestuck reference, isn't it? It's been a hot minute. Well, hello, hello. We are doing the whole trombone champ. Or... I start boning. Such a streak going! I knew it. I said it. I said it. We are playing through the whole Pokemon Mystery Dungeon soundtrack in Trombone Champ, thanks to Static Raichu for modding all of it. What Homestuck? There's never been a Homestuck. Andrew Hussey's a fake name. Doesn't exist. Exactly. It's gonna be hard. We're gonna slow it down just a smidge, and we're still gonna do really bad. Sometimes that's just how it is. I'm sight reading some of these. Really? Thank you. 
My mouse got away from me there. <laughs> you remember when the rating team had to go through every single one of these Pokemon Mystery Dungeon charts? Took them like a month and a half to process. Yeah, it was also very fun to install all of them. Hi, Lucavian. Are, are you ready for the doot doot? Inky, leave my plants alone. Inky. What do you have? So we said we were skipping the ones that were uh, remixes, uh, like, you know, the same dungeon but the different floor or whatever. That's, that's how I'm going through this so that we're not... That's the plan, is to go through as many. I know it's like six hours. And I'm playing them at like point nine speed. at the end hi ace welcome in yes thank you so much for the follow grist collector oh this was a channel point challenge because i've got another a mod of mine who loves and is obsessed with pokemon mystery dungeon and it does not seem like they are here yet but they also said that for their own emotional state they might not be able to be here because some of the songs, like, they just, they bring up such emotions and memories from the game. It's like, oh yeah. Oh no. Alright, get ready for me to suck. I will do my best. Oh, my God. 
this is Guitar Hero, but trombone. Inky, you still want to be a part of this? I'm here then! I'm here! That was also Max Starbit's role. Well done. Yes, give him the love he deserves. He's being a very big baby this morning. I even let you play a song. At least unlike Guitar Hero, there's no close-up of the crowd booing you and you miss a note. Ooh, well done, Lukavi, and you got us donuts. We got there. We got the donuts. Who's buying? Uh, I'll, I'll spot us this time. Enjoy, everyone. You want to play a song, Inky? You want to play this one? He's going to take over, okay? This is him. So, as you are making your way up in this rescue guild that you are in, you're helping people in need. There's a lot of crises going on, earthquakes, volcano eruptions um, that are kind of causing a lot of the wild Pokemon in the area to go uh, and become a lot more aggressive than usual. Even some of the legendaries, which again then turn to cause natural disasters. And so you are helping out in this rescue team and you are finding out that someone is going around stealing relics called time gears. So you saw some wanted posters for a Grovile. Um, Grovile is going around stealing time gears, which are freezing time in the like specific regions where they were stolen from. And Dusknoir is here to help you apprehend him. And I want to say, at the end of the day, everyone, finally, Grovile has been captured! And so Dusknor is going to return to the future with Grovile. And then he takes you. Takes you too. Wow. This is the future. Everything's paralyzed, petrified. Thank 
So yeah, this was not the future you guys were expecting to find when you, you know, you put all, you put all the time gears back where they were supposed to be. The day should be saved. Except this person you trusted betrayed you and kidnapped you and brought you to this horrible future. You've pinged the static to check the stream out and they might drop by later when they wake up. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Enjoy your... the rest of your day. This is a lurk-friendly channel, so I never mind if people are just hanging out in the background and vibing to the trombone. The planet is paralyzed. Yeah, I played so much of this game through high school. I must have played through this game, like, probably eight different times. Oh yeah, like the background and everything is great. Oh wow, this is just like a cooler version of the last song. probably played, um, I've probably spent way too much time practicing some of these songs. <laughs> You're already here, you just had to log in. Uh, guys, Static is the one who modded and, uh, did the charts for the whole six hours of music that we are gonna be trying to make our way through today. Also, my cat is here. He really wants to help me play the trombone. I think he's doing a great job helping me. I remember, uh, I want to say I was looking for like a, I was kind of browsing the Trombone Champ Discord for a couple songs, and I saw that someone had put like one of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon songs in. So I got excited, and I went and like into the thread for the chart to say, ooh, I love this. And then Static was like, oh yeah, I'm going to be charting every song from the soundtrack. <laughs> every single one. Inky, do you want to play the next one? Guys, my cat's really good at trombone champ. Ink, how did you, how did you throw us all the way down here? I didn't put us here. I didn't put us here. Are we? We uh, just finished. Wow, you're so you're so helpful. Oh, uh, we should be here, I think. Um, but yes, I've been playing most of these anywhere between 0.8 and 0.95, depending on the difficulty, just so that it's not me running around with my head cut off. Yeah, this was a channel point challenge that uh, my community really wanted to see. Oh, 
So many nasties. Yeah, I mean, the worst thing that happens um, in this game is either the game tells you, oh, you nasty, or um, you lose your streak and you hear a little slide whistle. Segment, hello, welcome in. Inky played such a good song. Static, do you like to go by Static? Do you like to go by Raichu? Do you have a preference? And my question for you is, which of these tracks is your favorite? Static is okay, it sounds good. You forgot you'd be able to catch a little bit of this stream before I go to work. Could have caught more if you woke up early. Just saying. I love you. Adding trombone to PMD music makes everything so much better. It really does. It really does. All right, let me get your troop troop. Even though you spelled it wrong, I'll give it to you. Yes. There we go. <sighs> it really, really does. My favorite track is probably still Defend Globe. And we are skipping, like, we're gonna skip Sealed Ruin Pit because we're playing Sealed Ruin. Six star bits? Cat's being a giant baby. Hmm. But yeah. I, one, I loved Pokemon Mystery Dungeon so much growing up. Two, I was almost a, um, I was almost a music ed major. I backed out at the last second because music teachers everywhere were losing their jobs. And I went with my second, uh, interest, which was chemistry. But I've got a lot of music experience, so that makes a game like Trombone Champ extra fun. Defend Globe defeated me! I tried to full combo it on 2x speed for so long. Yeah, full combos are impressive. I think I got a perfect score on Good Night, and I'm like, you know, you know, that's that's fine. I, I can live with myself there. <laughs> yeah, the chart creators here in chat, isn't that exciting? Only one we're missing. 
is Dennis. fellow trombone champion did you know i still haven't truly beaten the game i was playing it in discord and i want to say we looked up the thing where you need what like 12 hot dog cards and i got so tired i got so tired it's like no i'm good it's very funny though Ooh! oh we're kicking each other one's catchier. Definitely this one. I skipped one. I did. I've been skipping the ones that are related. So, um, I feel like I should play it now. <laughs> Those are some thighs of steel. Yeah, I've, I've skipped a handful of them when they're like the related ones because... I don't know what else I have to do today. We might go back to them if we have time, but since I'm playing them at like 0.95 speed, I'm afraid of being here for eight hours. The sealed rune is way different than the pit. Let's give it a shot then. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're very different. Like I wanna say I was listening to like the amp planes and then the far amp planes, and I was like, oh. One's just like slower. This is way different, you're right. Stop hitting stuff. I'm playing on a keyboard tray. And it kills me.
our ant planes is ridiculous at the start. I did my best to make every chart unique. Yeah, uh, I've been I've been really enjoying. Also, I've noticed like playing through some of them that you go back and forth between like picking the different parts. So if a song loops, you're not playing the same exact thing twice. You're gonna be like, oh, we're gonna go play a different instrument's part. And I, I do find that a lot of fun. I think I um let's let's start going through some of these. See, I'm I'm so excited. You can tell the ones I have practiced down here because I was getting ready to cry. I was preparing myself. One of my other favorites is definitely um, Team Skull. I love that song. Um, I should let Dennis know just in case they are busy. <laughs> When you first released this, you did a live stream of S ranking the entire OST in one sitting. That is a bit more energy than I have, but I'm also like, I can be, um, I can get overwhelmed very easily with some of the trombone champ, um, tracks. I have done a pretty good job with a lot of these, but there are some that I've gotten a B and I'm just like, I cannot play this better. Uh, do you adjust your game speed at all or do you play them all, uh, do you play them all at 100% speed? I've noticed, like, I will slow some of them down based on the difficulty just because I know my own limitations. Uh, and of course, like, I'm sight reading a lot of these as well. Game speed wasn't even a thing back then. Yeah, you're right. I keep hitting stuff on my thing. Um, that's why I picked this earlier. For one, the OST is a banger. It is. But two, I had access to MIDI rips thanks to the PMD ROM hacking community. I can understand why that would make it a lot easier. Yeah. Like, it definitely is a banger. I didn't know if the game, like, had any special significance to you. Any more so than, like, I played through this game so many times in middle school, high school, that it just, like, became very important to me. Still took three months, I can imagine. Like, it simplifies things, it gives you a step in the right direction, but it doesn't quite do the work for you. That's still on you. And I'm very grateful that you did the work. This is a very fun um, stream so far. 
I have plushies for Dusknor, Grovile, and Shiny Celebi up on my wall. I also have a Dusknor emote. Dusknor has found you in the future. Half of that was the backgrounds, didn't want to skim on the detail anywhere, and it's your second massive Pokemon Mr. Dungeon Explorers project. First one was making a sound font of all the instruments in the game, so musicians can make authentic music for ROM hacks, fan games, and stuff. That's really cool. I remember seeing some people had, like, sound packs for Trombone Champ modding. I don't know if I ever taught myself how to install them correctly, because, like, I had downloaded a couple of them, but I just never got very far in actually getting them to work. But I was pretty happy that I was able to get the, um, you know, the custom tracks to work. I'll repeat this, I definitely think Trombone Champ is one of those games that's way better with the modding community, so I highly recommend getting it on Steam over the Switch unless you specifically want the multiplayer experience. I think the Switch is the only one that allows couch co-op multiplayer for like a couple people to play at the same time. Oops. This one. I accidentally started scrolling. You've made a bunch too, but that's a while ago. I can understand. I also had to like change my modding stuff with um, R2 Mod Man. Couch co-op trombone champ sounds like chaos. It does. It really does. Pew 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 pew! I'm I'm never gonna be up here on the leaderboard, and I'm, I've accepted that as part of like uh, that's part of my nature. I'm okay with that. Yeah, don't forget the motion controls, cause that's definitely way better. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, sometimes the fast notes, I'm not good at knowing when to time them. Like, I feel like I'm playing them rhythmically at the right time, but I know that there's a bit of a delay when it comes to, like, the actual game. Get up. Lower Brian Cage. Pinky! You are in and out of here a lot, my friend. Game sound latency drives me nuts. It makes everything feel so much worse to play. It really does, and that's why I'm just like, uh, I'm okay with an A. I actually really liked Lower Brine Cave more than the OG, but I think that's because it was slower and it felt easier to play through, technically speaking. Pinky, are you gonna come up? That was my experience with Love Burb. The timing of the on-screen prompts and the actual input recognition was just that little bit off, making it really difficult to do well. Oh yeah. Definitely. Aki, come up. Can you just stay here? And then after you finished it, you, they patched the timing to improve it. That's funny. Oh yeah, Lucavian has been doing some Assassin's Creed lately on stream.
I love this song. Call it dollar store crowd control because I have the deems to make me do stuff. I've done dollar store crowd control before. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Because I don't, I mean, there's crowd control support for a lot of different things, but also sometimes, like, you have to go in and customize it and say, no, I don't want them to be able to do this. I don't want them to be able to do this. And, like, there's just so much you can do. I know that there is a, um, there's a Twitch trombone chant mod that I think allows viewers to cue in songs. Of course, I'm not doing that today because we're going through the soundtrack. I really like this one. I mean, can you tell? Can, can you tell? I have a custom input setup that's completely fricked up, but at least it gives me zero latency. Yeah. Yeah. It just takes a little bit of time to like, uh, for me, it's the ones that are short notes that I cannot seem to get the timing on. And I've just accepted that. Um, sea of Time had a lot of like mid to longer length notes. So it was a lot easier to get the timing right. And thank you for the follow, Static. Uh, I have a... I, I don't... I probably play Trombone Champ on stream more than most people, but I also have a channel point redeemed to ask me to stop what I'm doing and go play a Trombone Champ song. So uh, once I'm done with this uh, entire pack of songs, I'm gonna need to go add some more custom tracks. But I haven't browsed the uh, Discord in a hot minute for some new tracks, so I'm gonna have to do that. It might be time to upgrade my Dusknor emote. Toot. Latency is the entire difference between short notes feeling awful and amazing. It really is. And I have a feeling like the speed of the song is going to play into that too. I am texting my mod. Say, where the hell are you? I'm playing trombone champ and you're not here. Just kidding. Thank you for lurking, Lucavian. Do you have any fun holiday plans? I know I'm asking you questions after you are like, I'm lurking, I'm gone. And yet you continue to talk to me. I hold that too long? Thanks, Inky. I 
it just held it like literally a fraction of a second too long. Hi, Dennis. Gears of time. You got them, right? Yeah, definitely well done static on the backgrounds. It makes such a difference. up at the end again. I mean, so we haven't gotten anything lower than a B, and I will take that as a victory, for sure. Jiggy, you got it. Let's get Jiggy with it. Battle. Against. Dusk Noir! Chat, spam those Dusk Noir emotes if you have them. One of the arpeggio triplets. I will take it. I will take it. Yes! S rank. I will S rank for you, Dusknor. For you. Let's slow it down a hair. I know, I trusted you, Dusknor. <laughs> It really, it caught me so off guard my first playthrough. You were like, nice, they made a ghost type of good guy. Broke my heart. I will also say you adjust the difficulty very well. So like you have it slow here and then the... Makes you feel like you, 
can play one of the two parts well, then you're still doing well. Of all the music in Pokemon Mr. Dungeon, this one moves me the most. It's a good song. Okay, okay, we just clutched out S rank. <laughs> it, it does really have this, like, ancient mysterious vibe to it. And then, I mean, one of the things I think I love most about all of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music is just the incorporation of the different instruments. One, I'm a flute player, so of course I feel moved by music that has really nice flute melodic lines in it but it's not even just the flute there's like the um the strings it sounds like a lower string to me but you know it's kind of generic string electronic font yeah shay um here there be spoilers we'll play this one at normal speed this oh my gosh this one is Dredging up memories already! Some of the background visuals I synced up with the music, like this one. Okay, well, good. Dennis is like, she's never picking up this game again. Shay says, that's not true. Well, then Shay, be warned, because from this point forward, it's not just the music, it's the fact that the scenes behind the music are going to be scenes from the ending of the game. You might not fully put together what is happening, but we also have a lot of people in chat who've played Mystery Dungeon who might be talking about it. But, such a good game. Play it. Oh, I'm crying. I knew I would be crying. Despite its name, the trombone does not have any bones. Such a good visual here, too.
Now, if you want to pick it up again out of spite, do it! You won't. That this song was funny and I, I was vibing through it I was vibing through it and enjoying it and it's like no this song's great and then <laughs> it got to the funny part good luck have fun be nasty that's gotta be a shirt that's gotta go on a shirt now Shay says if my external hard drive didn't get messed up I'd already be playing I can understand that no, no, it's not your fault at all. It's just like... <laughs> it's just like, yeah, that ain't happening. I still somehow S-ranked it. So, like, that one's very, very flexible. Words to live by. Good luck, have fun, be nasty. Ugh. Oh, that, that was a good laugh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I use keyboard to toot. And then when it gets fast, I alternate between F and D. Oh, the fast notes are worth very little because they're short. That makes sense. So even if it's like a wrapped on more nasties. My mouse keeps walking away from me. Take it. We'll take it. I think.
think I'm gonna try this one at normal game speed. I feel like I might be able to handle half of a star of difficulty. Maybe. Oops, that was flat. Oh, I can't believe they're dead. I'm kidding, Shay. Oh no! Okay. We're gasping for air, so we're gonna start over. I just held it a hair too long. should probably try to play every song after the next one at 1x. I will try. No, I can't believe I was defeated. will try my artist. Oh, we had one okay that stopped us from getting a perfect score. Yeah, it's a very rare breath control sh chart where like you almost have to like make sure you're pulling off the note a hair earlier than you think you should. There's a handful of like ones that I've played where I've recognized that, but it doesn't happen often. I tried my hardest.
All right. Get ready for the waterworks. I make no promises. Celebrate getting an A. Ten star bits. Let's go. Carrying us, Fiona. Uh, this track started, and I think I... I thought it was gonna be another one, so I did not do well at the beginning. It's one more star bit than yesterday. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. That ending killed me. Oh, that ending killed me. I usually do that one at like 0.95 speed. But yeah, Static, I know what you mean. Like, I've seen some of them where like the um, graphic starts. Like, it, it ends early and then it like restarts uh, when you're playing at a slower speed. This is so mean. It breaks your heart. And then, yeah, you get to play through like the most difficult parts. I have to get home. And tell everyone about what happened.
crying with Gabian. Also do a good job static with like playing with the octaves as you need to because I mean trombone champ only lets you play so many notes or like doing harmonies if the uh if the note in question is just something that you cannot reach limit was so infuriating there completely ruins the pattern thank you for the hydrate lucavian per the um the song charters request we are playing these at 1x speed because the um the cinematics line up a lot better okay i'm gonna cry here this one care if I threw by starting to whistle. The song gets me. It gets me. Oh, hold on. We're gonna bring down some cuddle buddies. 
Alright, Inky, I'm gonna wake you now. Let me just walk all over your bed. I know, it's your bed. Thank you for the hydrate. We got this guy, courtesy of Shay. And then I bought these two. I don't think I can play a song like this. Yeah, we got 1,400 star bits today. If we hit 200%, I will um, make more donuts. Theoretically, if I just play with my mouse, I can play like this. The gang's all here. Is another one where it was hard to find footage for you had to add so many clips that aren't in the original but i think you did a great job doing that uh because like it kind of is a way to visually tell the story of pokemon mystery dungeon along with the ost without actually having to play it yeah evie's crying i'm also crying it's a it's fine we're all crying this is okay I probably won't whistle to too many more of the songs, but like those ones are those ones are powerful. Thank 
I'm glad you like the whistling as I usually can't stop. Hard to find my own range of whistling and playing trombone chant and talking. I can trill way better with the whistling than I can the trombone. <laughs> but Kevin, you are good at whistling. I just have no chill <laughs> when it comes to whistling. I have zero chill. <laughs> That's why there's a channel point thing saying stop whistling. Also, I am invisible tromboner for a reason. It is also why it costs a small fortune, because I hate it! Yay! Somebody spent channel points to make me add a channel point redeem so that they could ask me to stop whistling. Not, not that they really wanted it that badly, just, you know, for the funnies. Alright, we're slowing down a little bit here. Mozart's dying words were, at least I got to use a trombone. At least until the 31st, we are still raising money for Bankus. If anybody is interested. 
Because, of course, we're doing more charity stuff. Charity's my middle name. I am, I'm definitely gonna have to make that a shirt. Good luck, have fun, be nasty. Trombone champ. Aw, beans. Didn't quite A rank it. I, I so vaguely remember this part because I wanna say, like, I played through Explorers and then I played through the end, some of the end missions. for all the channel points you spent to make this happen. And I know we had it scheduled and I think I rescheduled it so that I could, you know, do a thank this stream, actually. But yeah, I don't remember much of this part of the game. I used, I mostly used the, um, jukebox.
You can tell when my mouse like hits a dead zone and stops moving. <laughs> I'll take a beat. I didn't do very well in that one. They can't all be winners. mouse. We're gonna take a break in like two minutes, so one more song, I think. I need to give my eyes a rest, I need to stretch and give my wrist a rest for sure. Oh, there's a lot of Sky Peak. Oh. If anything, I remember this mostly from the jukebox version. Says, by the way, in case you would like to know, I also put this entire OST into a single chart for the heck of it. Almost a four hour runtime. Hmm. I don't know why I thought the um, Mr. Dungeon OST was supposed to be six hours, but that's YouTube, so like it could have like the like looping time or like the fade out time or whatever you want to call it. Not published though. That 
All right. That's not the one I'm on next. Stop it. But that's what I'm gonna leave for you guys when I take a little break. Depends on looping and stuff. Some of the charts here loop, others don't. Depends on whether there was enough interesting things to play. You know, that is a fair point. I didn't even think about that. All right, I will be back in like two minutes. Make sure you take a break, stretch, give your eyes a chance to rest. I know I was crying a lot earlier, but I also want to make sure that my eyes aren't just like burning and begging for sweet relief. So I'll be right back. You're right, mom, you gotta get your boosts. 
You guys are gonna have to pardon me. I am... Oh, did it... Oh, I didn't realize it timed itself out. Okay, anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I have cereal. <laughs> Might be controversial. But it's Fruity Pebbles. wasn't what was next. This was. Shay, we are out of spoiler range for now. I knew it was going to lose near the end. Yeah. 
trying to eat my holiday Brody Pebbles before they turn to actual soup. I love getting the air horns on like the last note you play. Yeah. Ooh, we landed like spot on the S rank. <laughs> I feel powerful. Ha <laughs> ha 
like a medley almost. Ugh. Ball difficulty spike. I mean, it does happen as like part of the actual, um, sorry, it happens as part of the actual song. But yeah, like to me, Blizzard Island, oh, it is, a. It, okay. I don't know why I thought it was just Blizzard Island, not Blizzard Island Rescue Team Medley. It literally is called a medley. I just saw Blizzard Island and it's like, oh. That, that's a fun one, though. Do not accidentally drop your trombone in the river. It is literally a medley of songs. Good job, Red. You figured it out. Sorry, that was my lunch. Very important question to everyone in chat. Is cereal a soup? There is a wrong answer. Bye. 
Is Nightbot fighting with you? Ace Nightbot. See. Zekmet says, cereal is soup. Nightbot says, no, chat, cereal is not a soup. Thank you, Nightbot. Um, cereal becomes soup if you heat it up enough. I mean, see, there's a whole argument about is oatmeal soup. I think cereal is soup if you're eating it wrong. I don't like oatmeal, so I think oatmeal counts as part of that. And if you let your, if you let your cereal sit long enough that it becomes gross and mushy, you are eating it wrong. Just a fact. <clears throat> Funky. This one just gets like funkier and heavier.
this one was one of the hardest to make unique. Yeah, it's, um, I can tell we're playing, like, the, the harmonized version instead of the melody for a lot of it, but I still, I love the bass line. It's very catchy. I did actually play trombone. I marched trombone in college. I have not played since college, though. I don't even know if we have a trombone in the house at the moment. It's a very sad day when you don't know. No, we think uh, we let my sister borrow it. I was thinking about trying to like learn one of these songs on the actual trombone, but it just kind of did not happen with all of the charity stuff we were working on. <sighs> In the nightmare. <clears throat> We'll take it! This one's gonna suck! Wish me luck! of the difficulty, the track itself is not going to suck. Thank you. 
Yep. That was a part. Like, you didn't chart it wrong. That's what the song is. hard parts to lose combo on followed by high value long notes yeah like that's that's usually what it feels like it's like okay i can build up my streak again and then as soon as the like fast moving parts come along it's like nope forget about it forget about it and like it's 100 percent just a skill issue i am aware of that I'm glad that hard bit was just at the end. Yeah, Cresselia was defeated. Cresselia was revived. of the post game um was kind of trying to pick on some of the mysteries that were not solved by the time you rolled credits and so you end up i think going through um palkia's nightmares to figure out why some of these rifts were opening it's been a hot minute though Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
I mean, like, it's a cute, catchy little, little ditty, even if it's hard. Remember this one. fun. And I'm itching so bad to get to defend Globe. Feisty. The powerful one, we warn you. Mm. Slow 
slowed down remix of Surrounded Sea. in this. I lose my I always lose the um the streak, the championship, like right after I get it. Trouble holding on to that. That just loops until you leave the dungeon. Once you're at the end of it. Beep, 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 beep. This one's gonna be hard. Let's have fun with it. Arpeggios are like, nope. Ha <laughs> 
nearly impossible arpeggios right before the very, very long notes. Nope. Hey, I S-ranked that. We will take it. We will take it. Take the little victories. a little chilly in here. to anyone who does go after it. I knew I was gonna lose it. Yeah. See, like, if I were doing some of these really hard songs that I was not even able to, like, get past a C rank on, then I'd feel like, okay, let's push myself, but when I'm getting, like, B's and A's and S's, it's like, eh, yeah, we're good. Might want to skip Air of Unease. Hardest song in the OST and for no good reason at all. Well, now I have to do it because it's going to be funny. Why is the difficulty so low? Oh, yeah. This, this sounds like it's going to suck. To play. Oh, <laughs> 
hardest song for no reason at all? Let's find out. I'll take it. It was kind of hard for no reason at all. But now we can say we're done with it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna have to do that. And I was like, no, nope, it's gonna be awful. That wasn't so bad. It really wasn't so bad. Alright. Probably gonna whistle. Probably. Sounds a lot like the regular Starcade. Easier. I'm sorry, Defend Globe is right here. I cannot help myself. I just.
Bone Bone Champ. This is what I think about you ruining the perfect thing I had going. I'm so disappointed. That one freaking meh. made a um, flute duo, or a flute duet remix of Defend the Globe. So if it seems like I know that song inside and out, it's because they do. That's probably the one I'll use to, like, pull down. <laughs> I knew that my wrist was gonna be the uh, the part that starts to get to me. <laughs> Ain't that just the way? That was bad. You know what? Never mind, it wasn't that bad. Never mind, it's it's fine, it's fine, guys. It's really fine. Thank 
Then we need to redo Fortune Ravine Depths. That's the next one, right? Hey! Let's give it a try. I see that, I give up. I'm just like, nah. I can definitely see like those arpeggios are like the shortest I have seen I think in this entire pack but I still s ranked it so we're gonna take it it can't be spoiler alert what do you mean he's a criminal That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Only three okays that stopped me from getting a perfect.
one too, trombone champ? You really had to do it to this one too? You had to ruin it right at the end. You, uh, you had to. Oh, I knew I recognized this. Yeah, it's um, Pokemon Rescue Team Magma Cavern. Whistle champ! It's kind of hard to whistle a part that's not the same trombone part that you're playing. in Spring Cave are difficult because there's three of them and it's basically the same track. Oh no. Lower Spring Cave. Spring Cave Depths is just Spring Caves but slower. <laughs> Song, don't get me wrong. Bye. 
690 toots. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. was a banger that I was not very good at playing. Yeah. I'll take an A rank. I think I can do it. Certified banger. I remember this one. It's funny. Impossible sections for me to play. to add an extra loop just to dilute the hard parts to make an S rank easier. Yeah, I think that's fair, though. <clears throat> oh, no. Ha 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 ha! 
many long notes interrupted by combo killers. Yup. Not bad, though. I will take an A. There's only a handful of songs I've actually gotten Bs on. So... As the stream goes on, I'm gonna need to stop for more uh, wrist breaks. lose my combo at the end. I always do. Yeah. <clears throat> Getting into some of my favorite bits. I mean, other than Defend Glow. Still definitely a favorite.
Uh, we're gonna take another short break to give my wrist a little rest, and then we are nearing the last couple. I'm I'm probably gonna skip the bonus stuff just because I, I've got to play through Celeste tomorrow. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm in danger. Bonus stuff is very short. That's good to know. That helps. Alright. Get up and stretch. See you in like two. Let's get back to it. By the way, Lucavian, thank you for keeping on top of my hydration. started playing through um, Mystery Dungeon as 
Trico because I really liked the like the motif behind Robile being your Pokemon. No idea how I didn't lose my streak there. <laughs> Nailed it.
Dark Wasteland? No, Dark Wasteland. Ow. Join the trombone champ today. Yeah. Especially if you haven't heard these songs before, are you find them as catchy as I am. Wow, an A rank for 134 nasties is pretty funny. I usually think anything over a difficulty of like four is like oof. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah, definitely a lot of uh, jumps in that one. Like, not all of them were, like, hard arpeggiated sections, but a lot of them were jumps, which, of course, as sight reading is a little bit harder. All right. Not sight reading. Thank <laughs> you. 
was a way. Yay! I'm sorry, I need to breathe! So sorry, tromboner.
course I lose it on the last note. Of course I do. Yay! It's fine. We're so close! We're so close! Almost done it! That wasn't awful. That wasn't awful. We are getting to some of the like end end tracks.
also have to say, Static, I like how you wrapped some of these up and, like, actually resolved the song. Because, I mean, a lot of them are designed so that they keep looping. And I found that, like, it was kind of nice to not have every single track just abruptly end. I don't think a lot of, like, a lot of them had, like, a thoughtful ending put into it. <clears throat> Get ready for more tears, probably. Thank you. 
I love the little dance that my invisible trombone. Not a miracle chat! <laughs> it was a lot of work for some of the songs to add in like an actual ending. I can imagine. Because like it's not just an extra note in the trombone, it's also like the background music. all the text boxes and timing of the scenes just happened to be perfect. <coughs> perfect. A new world happened to line up so perfectly with that background animation. Yeah, a new world was very, very nice. I also like that song a lot. I'm sorry, I'm so sniffly. Got a cold going around in our house. High score, so we'll take it. Ending scenes around here were so hard to find scenes for. So many individual pieces of music. I know. Like, there were some of them that, like, I was like, yeah, that could have just been squeezed into this next track. They could have. We're gonna do the remix, or we're gonna do the bonus tracks, and then we're gonna do the finale, okay? That's how we're playing it.
Wow, prehistoric trombones were a thing. I'm saving the best for last. Well, not the best, but I like the finale song. You're right, that was a very short one. <laughs> Oh, that one okay is killing me! Ruined my perk. SMH. That one's cute! I can live with that. Hey. Life uh, finds a way. whistle the part that I can't play so you know what it's supposed to sound like. Short songs are incredibly hard to S rank. The score calculation doesn't account for combo and stuff. Oh wow, so like it's almost gotta be all perfectos then. Y'all, 
that was it. That was our um, trombone champ concerto. We have a couple of other songs that I could play, of course, but my wrist is going to need a break soon. As much as I would love to... I... So I have Jump Up Superstar, it will crash my stream, it will be very funny. My, um, I don't know, there's just something about all of the graphics of New Donk City loading in in the background while Mario's boogieing and playing the trombone, it breaks my stream in a very funny way. down with Autumn Mountain. is and uh, before we raid out it is tradition to end with megalovania I am still not very good at it but we will go for it baby oh it's not even changing the difficulty slowing it down Try 0.85. This is a classic. And then, yeah, we're gonna raid out. Thank you guys so much for being here to celebrate the community.
latency kills me! Oh, but I absolutely love the, uh, the air horn at the very, very end. That was not bad! I have not S-ranked this yet. One of these days. One of these days, chat, it's going to happen. Alright, well with that... Let me pop the Discord one more time. Because this whole thing is to celebrate the channel and the community and you guys for coming out and being so awesome. Tomorrow, we are doing a Celestmas Eve stream. It should be starting, I might have to push it back like an hour to start at like 5 or 5.30, which also might mean I decide not to run that many strawberries this year. It's the first year we're doing a, um, like a full Celeste in one stream kind of run through. We will be using channel points to predict how many deaths. And I have no idea what to tell you guys. I'm still doing my practice run. I think I can get it to like a roughly four hour segment if I don't go absurd over the strawberries. I had a bunch of fun with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon chart run. Thank you again for putting all of this together. It's a very fun pack. Lots of really, really great songs, and it was a lot of fun to challenge myself and get to play through all of them. And some of them at 1x speed that I hadn't tried before, so. Uh, yeah. Celestmas Eve tomorrow at, like, 5, 5.30. I look forward to seeing you guys then. Looking for someone to raid. I have a handful of people on. I'm just trying to figure out Fiona's driving, so I don't want to distract her. I mean, I, when you're doing IRL streams and you're driving, that's kind of part of the whole shtick. Let's go raid Sleepy. Sleepy Heart is doing some Lethal Company with a couple of streamer friends. I want to say Smilky's one of them. Yeah, Matto, Starling Dust, Smilky, and... Roli are all having a great time with Sleepy, so let's go check it out. I also need to, like, give my wrist a break. I was tempted to, like, jump ship and play another game for a little bit, but I think I need to uh, get a little screen break and a little wrist break. So, all that being said, going and growing, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!